Hey everyone, you got to check this article out. It came out a couple of days ago. Headline reads, Pope makes cover of Rolling Stone magazine. All right, there you have him right there on the cover. And it says right here, just last month, the Pope was named Times Person of the Year and featured on that magazine's cover for the second time in 2013. So both Rolling Stone magazine and Time magazine are global magazines, right? They're major, major magazines. And look what else it says here. In less than a year since his papacy began, Pope Francis has done much to separate himself from the past popes and establish himself as a people's pope. And the reason he's established as a people's pope is because the media is pushing him as such. I mean, he has literally flooded the media, whether it's on paper or on screen. He's all over the place as a people's pope. Everybody loves him all over the place, right? So why is this a problem? Well, first of all, Rolling Stone magazine is one of the most evil magazines on the planet, yet this so-called man of God's on it, right? And this magazine promotes all sorts of satanic rock bands, and some of their covers are X-rated, to say the least. And worse yet, in America, where this magazine is published, Christians are hated for the most part. I mean, laws are being passed that go directly against our faith, and not only our faith, but the faith of the forefathers of this nation. Yet, this Pope, who claims to be a Christian like the rest of us, is loved by everybody, so much so that a satanic rock magazine posts his picture with pride. So i got to ask the question, why is it Christians are being killed on a regular basis on earth to the tune of one Christian martyred for their faith every two minutes, yet this Pope, who also claims to be a Christian, is celebrated as the man of the year by Time Magazine and a superstar by Rolling Stone? I mean, since he claims to be a Christian like the rest of us, why isn't he hated right along with the rest of us? Well, it has to do with prophecy. Revelation 13, 3. Right here. It says, and I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death, and his deadly wound was healed, and all the world wondered after this beast, right? Check out where that word is, and. The wound is healed first, and then all the world wonders after it, right? We all know about the wound. If you go to the, uh, where is it here? Let me um, get this back up. If you go to RemedyGod.org, you go to the Characteristics of Antichrist page, right there. And go to number six or seven. Six talks about them getting the wound, and, it, and then uh, seven talks about the wound being healed. The wound started being healed in 1929, as we all know, about Mussolini and Gaspari in the Lateran Palace signing the pact that allowed the Vatican to become a state and church once again. So that's more or less, you know, history. We, this is fact. And so since Revelation 13, 3 says what it says and says that, you know, that it's uh, the deadly wound was healed and then all the world wonders after the beast? I mean, it's pretty plain. The fact that all the world, because this is a global magazine, and so is Time magazine, and so is all the media, and all the newspapers, and all the internet. I mean, it's just everybody's talking about this guy all over the world. So what does this mean? Well, <laughs> it's just common sense. The fact that all the world is right now wondering after this pope as if he's a superstar or something, confirms the wound is healed. So that being said, we have precious little time left to proclaim the loud cry. And I hope and pray that you are doing all you can to share your faith. Because he that gave you those talents to actually share your faith is about to return to see if you buried that which he gave you. I hope and pray that you are blessed by what was shared in this video. Please subscribe, please share it with as many as possible, and thank you for watching. God bless.